And I, I think I would follow more of the mystic faith, you know, the Christian mystics. Yeah, but again, you, you're imposing an, a, a, you're imposing an experience you've had into something. The the point is, the, this is not how you you should do religion. <laughs> you should find the one that has the correct source, the trustworthy source, and derive your beliefs from that. We believe the Quran is the only correct source to derive theology from. Number one is preserved. It's the one that was given to Prophet Muhammad. It's the only book on earth that claims to be from God. The Bible doesn't claim to be from God. It's the followers that claim it's from God. But the Bible itself doesn't claim to be from God. It claims to be from humans. It's biogra biographies. The Quran is the only book on earth that claims to be from God. Our interpretation, if you like, of your experience, we don't doubt that you had an experience. I, I believe that you had an experience. It was, it was, it was basically, if, if you, if, uh, the closest to, to the Islam I would, I would describe it is the unity of, is the unity of being. That, that, have you heard of uh, Ibn Arabi? No. He was a, 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 a Sufi mystic. Oh, Ibn Arabi, yeah. Forget that. Listen, the point is that our interpretation of what you've experienced, we believe you, you would have experienced the spirit. But what are spirits? What is a spirit? We believe there's, there's different spirits. There's angels, there's jinn. There's, there's spirits amongst us. There's another creation amongst us. They're not dead souls. They're not humans that have died and their spirits remain. They are... They are... Jinn. They're a different creation of yeah. jinn. And they can... You can have experiences with jinn. But there's a problem with that. What? This is what I've said to a Muslim. Someone what is said. the problem? If if you're saying I got deceived by a, a jinn, then I can't respect Allah. Why? Because because I was at that time, I was really, really, really seeking after God. By the way, I'm not saying it's necessarily jinn. It could have been. You could have had experience in a dream. It was a dream. And I know it wasn't a dream. You may have had an experience with an angel. I'm not necessarily saying it's a jinn. We have it, it. We don't know exactly. But what I'm saying is, you just act, you're just putting it where you want to put it. So when I ask you again, why don't why are you not a Muslim? You should give me a better answer than oh because he doesn't accept the king because you don't accept the kingdom. It's like. You have to start with the correct source, which is the Qur'an and the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad. And you derive your belief from that. Don't start with your belief and start imposing it into certain books. Uh, no doubt, you can find that description, you can try to edge that description into anything. Seriously, you can edge it into Mystic Meg and the National Lottery. You remember Mystic Meg? I'm telling you, you laugh, but you could literally watch every single episode of her and say, oh, that's what it is. It's just a, it's just a lie, bro. Start with the Qur'an. Read the Qur'an. Have you read the Qur'an? I've read bits of it, yeah. What do you think of it? Why, why have you not read all of it? Why, what's the problem with it? Why, 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 why are you not a Muslim? Just get the whole message. I'm reading it at home. I just didn't like... The concept of God is pure. There's no other religion that teaches the Islamic concept, and it's the purest concept of God, which you can't imagine. It's beyond our comprehension. It's nothing like God. It's nothing like Allah. And it's the only book and religion that gives us so much knowledge about Allah, telling about all of his name, many of his names and attributes, who he is and who he isn't. The book that gives us clear, detailed guidance. Christianity doesn't have nothing. A few biographies by men that don't even agree. The Christians don't even know how to worship God. Some of them are singing and dancing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's not about being wrong, it's about being correct. What's wrong with dancing and singing? It's about doing it how God has asked you to do it. Did God ask them to do that? Did Jesus do that? So what, you can't just you, can, you can't you can't listen. You can't just make up your own rules to worship God. If I say right, I'm going to worship God by cutting all the trees down. 
Nothing wrong with that. It's like, come on, man. Like, worship God how Allah told you to do it. The Jews pray. They, they put their head on the floor. The, Christi the, the Christians are making it up as they're going along. The Muslims pray how Allah has commanded us to pray. You can't, you can't just make it up as you go along. Listen, listen, if you're sincere, don't, don't leave me that. If you're sincere, let me give you some homework. Go home when you're on your own. After you've had a shower, put your head on the floor and ask the Creator to guide you to the right way. All right, then I'll do that. When no one's watching, no one knows if you've done it. All right. Just ask God, the Creator, to guide you. Yeah. If Islam is true, if Islam is true, just ask God to guide you. If you're sincere, deeply, deep down, ask God, guide me. And then come back next week and take Shahada. All right, then <laughs> See you later.